What's up guys, this game's James, coming back at you with another video. This one right here is me doing the lamps by myself on hard. Just uh, started doing this editing on my PlayStation, so just get used to it, see how it's going. If you guys like any of my videos or anything I post on here, just give me a like and a subscribe. And If you think I did something wrong, go ahead and... Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Alright, I'll usually just start out going invisible. Try to run to this next one and crash down and go invisible. And that usually sometimes doesn't work, so I gotta run away. Sometimes I'm meleeing right there to get invisible like I did there. It works, you don't get hit. Just gotta love how they still surround you when you're invisible. <coughs> So usually you want to try to get to this third one with nothing can see you so you can hide directly behind it. Like so. And then boom, as soon as it says you're not there, it says you have no more darkness, take off. Always trying to stay invisible as long as you can to get to the back here to hide. Sometimes the invisibility doesn't want to work, I don't think it works here, so I gotta melee him. I'll probably be duking and dodging with my head the whole time. So I was trying to get behind it. Ah, this is where it like doesn't work. So I'm like, alright, ouch. It usually takes about three to four seconds. Nothing. I'm like, alright, you coming? No, screw it, we'll run. It's a lot easier whenever you have other people, because then if you get the other people, they can kind of move farther behind you, and then you, have, you don't really have to worry about all these thralls showing up. Yeah, as long as you can just get behind one of these pillars and get invisible before they get to you, you should be able to make it pretty easily. So this one's pretty far, so you're going to end up being not invisible. I was going to throw a, chart, throw a grenade, but... <coughs> if you guys like this video or you want to see some other videos, tell me as well down in the comments what you would like to see. Kind of a kind of a boring video if this edit on the PS4 allowed me to like fast forward the video a little bit. I would just run it at a little bit quicker speed. Ooh, that was close. Almost got pushed down in that hole. I think right up here is a knight on the other side of this, so I just kind of try to quietly go invisible before he shows up. They're right on me too. They're right there. Always be on the lookout for holes. Don't ever try to jump over anything. I had to use that heavy for the ogre at the end. Boom, already invisible. Always end up getting you. Good thing to have when you're running this is the uh, don't touch me's. It's an exotic hand armor. I think this one I didn't go in this one either. Wait, so I decided to crouch. Right, nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, visible. Nothing. Sometimes, I don't, I don't know why, sometimes it just doesn't want to work. Thought I could get past this knight. Didn't have my double jump. Ooh, got me. But luckily, it put me invisible and they all kind of lost me. Just took off. Watch out for there's two holes right here, one on this left side of this rock, right side of the rock. And right there's a hole as well, be careful. This one takes a while to get to too, I'm at eight, weight of darkness. People a lot of times will go to the left side and skip the one that I'm looking at right there, but I personally prefer to get to the one that I'm looking at right there. Just cause it's, it takes you quicker to get there, you'll have a chance to get down your weight of darkness. And boom, I'll have my supercharge by the time I get there, so... Thankfully it changed, because they were coming up on the invisible. See, and then boom, it's just a quick little run to here. I like to kind of let my weightness go down some before I activate it. A little bit behind the pole. 
see they were coming, so I just said screw it, turned on the super. Just gotta touch this plate real quick. Well, that's a lot. Get up here. Oop, bunch of fell down. As long as you're like up on the front right of this, front left of this rock, you should be good. On normal, you can sit here and if you have a patience and time or an icebreaker or something, you can just sit there and just shoot the ogre in the face and wait for him to stumble. Just shoot, stumble, shoot, stumble, and just keep doing it like that. But on hard, he doesn't stumble, so I just went with a rocket. I was going to do two, but I went invisible, and so I just said, screw it. If you can activate it and then run and somehow hide behind here without them being able to see you, sometimes it works out good. I got lucky. I didn't die right here. Look, none can see me. None can see me at all. Go invisible, and then all of a sudden, bam, they just show up out of nowhere. There he is. There he is again. I don't, don't know where they came from, but they just decided to show up. Ah, I knew they were coming. I thought for sure I was gone. I'm going to have to redo the whole thing. I'm getting, whew, I got messed up pretty bad right there. Just try to stay invisible. That's one thing that sucks kind of about the invisibility is if they see you go invisible they kind of have a chance to turn and hit you. Whew. Only one got me in and it was just the time. Seth's path of the forward took way too long. Alright guys, so that was uh, me doing the, um, the lamps on hard by myself. If you uh, want any more videos showing you how to do certain things. I know there's probably a bunch of these out on the internet, but I just decided to do it for myself, my method of doing it. For this, you just run and go through. If you like my videos, like I said, give it a like. If you like my channel, please subscribe, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more games. I'm going to have No Man's Sky soon when it comes out. I'm going to be probably doing some live stream heists when those come out. So, thanks. Peace.